Hey everyone, and welcome to the video. Thank you so much for joining me. If you're new here, my name's Neil, and I am obsessed with hockey jerseys. It doesn't matter if it's real jerseys, concepts, uh, jerseys, collecting jerseys. Uh, I've, I'm surrounded by jerseys in this room. I've got an entire rack over there behind me and one out in my hallway as well. I've got over, I think over maybe a hundred jerseys now in my collection. So jerseys are kind of my thing. I'm still by no means an expert, but I love everything about hockey jerseys. And to this video specifically is because of you guys. This is probably one of the most requested things on the channel uh, since I even started on YouTube, even if it was the previous post to post channel. Um, so I figured that, you know, it's probably time that I make this video because you guys have watched me. If you're familiar with the channel, and if you are subscribed already, you've watched me unbox, you know, probably 50 to 70 jerseys in the past three years. So. Um, I, I definitely have some educated experience when it comes to buying some from some buying some from specific stores. So I want to share that with you guys. And I would love it if you could hit the subscribe button down below uh, to see more hockey content first and foremost, but also jersey content. So all right, let's get into this. I've got my uh, screen being recorded here. And I'm going to take you through the process that I go through literally every single day. Now, I'm going to show you some sites that I've never purchased from before, but I still check those sites for the deals. I live in Canada, so some of these sites are specific to Canada, and there are sites in here that are specific to the to the United States that I have friends, like I have friends in the United States, and if I find a really good deal that I can't ship to Canada, I ship to them and they ship it to me. So uh, it's good to have friends in, in different places around the world, and I'm really lucky that uh, that is, that is uh, my situation. So let's get into this. As you can see up along top of my... Uh, browser here. I've got a bunch of uh, bookmarks in general. Like I've got Amazon and Air Miles store and some YouTube stuff and Red Flag Deals, which is, I think it's a Canadian site. It just basically shows you all like the current deals, not Jersey related, but just gen general deals. But you'll notice I have one here called Hockey M and that it's just hockey merch. So I click that and there's 31 different links in here. And this, so this is my process every single morning. So I right click that and I select open all 31 and boom, it automatically loads uh, all of the individual tabs. Now, the final 11 or 12 tabs are all from one store. Just the way that that website works, um, it's easier for me to narrow down the deals if I go team team by teams for like every tab is its own team um, on that site. So that's why there's a bunch of those. So the first one is uh, <clears throat> Pro Hockey Life, which is a Canadian company. I believe they do ship internationally into in, and to the United States, but they have a clearance. I have a clearance link set up here for specifically Adidas jerseys. And right now there's none, so it's you know it says sorry there are no products in this collection. But uh, oh man, I friggin' mosquito again! Unbelievable. Um, so obviously there's nothing special. There's no jerseys, so we are going to ignore this one. But sometimes I found some awesome deals here, like that Chicago Winter, uh, the Chicago Blackhawks Winter Classic Black one, fifty bucks from from this link. So uh, that's a good one to have. And you can note up here as as I go through, uh, you just pay attention to my links if you want to copy them or something like that or write them down. So we'll exit that. Now we're still on Pro Hockey Life, and this is just the general full collection of all of their Adidas jerseys. And I have it set to um, sort by price low to high. So I just scroll down through here. And for me specifically right now, as I'm making this video, I'm on the hunt for a white uh, St. Louis Blues jersey. I believe they're starting to make them again right now. And some stores are maybe having them. There's at least one in the United States that got a shipment in. So uh, I just go through this uh, a page at a time. Um, looking for that specific jersey. And now everyone has different jersey requirements. They're looking for a different thing. So... Uh, maybe, maybe you are looking for, uh, an Alexander Ovechkin alternate, uh, jersey. And on this site, they do have some named jerseys. Like you can see the Crosby one, the Matthews one, the Price one down below. But most of the ones at the top, since it's, it's sorted by, uh, low to high are nameless. But as, as I go to the last page, yeah, you'll notice some more names and stuff, but not, there might not be an Alexander Ovechkin specific uh, jersey. So if you're on the hunt for something really specific, this is what this whole process is all about. You might not be able to find uh, there's an Alexander Vetchkin jersey, but not in the not in the specific alternate I was looking for. So you might not be able to find exactly what you're looking for, but that's why this process exists for me is if I'm if I am looking for something specific, I need to figure out what site to find it on and then figure out am I going to buy it and what's the best price. So uh, Pro Hockey Life is a really good one. 
they, uh, I've, I've dealt with them before. I've partnered with them a little bit uh, for some videos a while ago. So I, have, I really, really like Pro Hockey Life. Absolutely, 100% one of my favorite stores. Moving on to the next link, and uh, that is Lids. So Lids was 100% my favorite company for a long time, and then they got bought out by Fanatics, and the company completely changed. Uh, they don't offer free shipping over a certain amount anymore. You can't pick up your order in store. You can't get it shipped to the store for free and then go pick it up locally. Um, it does. You could spend nine hundred and fifty dollars on jerseys in here, and they'd still charge you charge you fifteen or thirty bucks for for shipping. It's 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 frustrating in today's world where uh, you know you spend over a certain amount and you get free shipping. So I honestly don't really buy from Lids anymore, but I still check it uh, daily. In, every once in a while, I do find uh, a jersey for sale. So I did buy one from Lids earlier this year, and that was my first purchase from Lids, and probably. <sighs> maybe 30 months, something like that. So anyways, so like the Pro Hockey Life one on lids, I have it sorted from lowest price to highest price, and I just kind of go down and look and see see what's on sale. And uh, usually the things that are on sale are at the top, so I don't spend a lot of time going through these pages. And uh, I'm looking for something specific, like I said, which is the St. Louis Blues white jersey. So I'm gonna go down here on the side and go down and look for St. Louis. Now, they actually don't even carry any St. Louis jerseys on here. It's not even an option. There's San Jose, and that's the only that's the only S team. So my search here today on this on this Lids site is, is over. There is Lids.com, which has a different inventory, but I don't check that one. Next is Lids, or not Lids, uh, Dick's, sorry, Dick's Sporting Goods. So this is a, a, an example of, as a Canadian, I can't purchase and have a jersey shipped to me in Canada. I have to, if I want something on this site, I have to ask one of my friends if I can ship it to them and then they can ship it to me. So Dix is, is a really, really good site to find amazing hockey jerseys on sale. Like for example, there's a Phil Kessel uh, alternate jersey here for $56.97, a PK Suman one for $56.97. The, the most recent uh, stadium series, Avalanche jersey, all for $69 with four different names on the back. Now, if we click on one of those in a new tab, I can actually buy this and get it shipped to my friend because it's not available to ship, which was really unfortunate because I would literally buy one right now and have it shipped to my buddy Joey, and Joey would uh, mail it up to me. But there's some other like if you're in the United States, man, like you gotta, you gotta get out, you gotta check this site every day. Uh, I remember when the St. Louis Blues won the Stanley Cup, they had a white Tarasenko jersey, and I almost bought it. I really kicking myself that I didn't, but um, I, there's even some hidden ones here too, like see price and cart. So I know that it's going to be more than $125 just because of the way that it's uh, situated in that that uh, listing. But if I add that to my cart, then I can actually see the price if it's going to load. And it's not because it's not available to ship and it's not available in Bangor, which is the closest door to me. Maybe. I don't know. Anyways, Dix is a really good, good place. And in, in a normal time when there's no COVID-19, Dix is an, is an awesome site. Next is ice jerseys. So I've, I've definitely purchased some ice jerseys before. I've had a really good experience. Their shipping is super quick, and uh, they've jerseys have always arrived well packaged and uh, safely. So ice jerseys was a place that I was obsessed with checking almost on a daily basis. But you can see at the top right now, they're having a clearance sale, which is 40% to 80% off uh, everything. And they've been running that for almost two months now, and there is basically no stock on any of these jerseys. Like I on here if I want to buy I'm just gonna look and see if I want to buy any of these jerseys to add to my collection um, there's nothing really here that I need I, I pretty much have everything here for the most part uh, but you know I, I do need a Buffalo Sabres and a, and a Adidas jersey in, in dark to put the patch on that I have so uh, they have my size 46 um, so I'm, I could buy that I guess and get the deal, but if I want a, a Tampa Bay one, which I do need as well, you know, they don't have my size, so it's like that with basically, I've been on the site enough to know that Buffalo is the only jersey here that I want that's in my size, that's why I chose that, but everything else, not available in my size. Now, not in the, not in the size that I want, I prefer 46, I, I like my jerseys to fit a little bit uh, tighter. So, um, ice jerseys, again, good site, but they need to replenish their stock as I'm filming this. Next up, Cool Hockey, so I'm actually partnered with Cool Hockey, if you want to, um, save some money uh, on cool hockey go to coolhockey.com slash post to post and uh, that helps support the channel and you can find some awesome deals so at the at the end of the video i could circle back and tell you where to find the best hockey deals and the promotion in me would say cool hockey but the realist and the truth is 
it is still cool hockey, regardless of whether I'm partnering with them or not. If you don't trust my opinion or believe me, you know, spend an hour, look on this, look around the internet and try and find the best deals. And you'll just find out, you'll lead back to cool hockey. And I'm not talking about specific jersey deals where, you know, oh, there's a James Neal uh, on, on, on the sport check site for $110. I'm not talking about those specific, you know, hidden deals. I'm talking about the broad, you know, save 30%, save 40% on whatever. Doesn't matter the team, doesn't matter the player, doesn't matter the jersey. It's a blanket sale. And uh, cool hockey is really good at that. So, you know, you don't have to take my word for it. Do the research yourself and you'll still find yourself back at, at cool hockey. So uh, cool hockey is one of my favorite sites, if not my favorite site. That's that's why I decided to uh, partner up with them. And they have pretty much the best selection of jerseys. Now, they're out of stock on a couple of things. Like right now, I'm in the need of a Carolina Hurricanes jersey. So if I open up Carolina using the, the jerseys on the top, and a new link. This is the jersey that I really want from Carolina uh, because currently I just have a Reebok jersey, so I really want to upgrade to an Adidas. So unfortunately, they don't have a, a stock on that. Now, I've gone through the site enough to know what's in stock and what's not. And you can actually set up alerts on here and put in your email. So when things, a jersey that you're really interested in comes back into stock, you can get notified and then boom, buy it right away. I did that with my recent St. Louis jersey that, uh, that I just purchased. So uh, if you're looking for white jerseys, they do have quite a bit of white jerseys on here. A lot of sites don't. For example, they have a white uh, New Jersey Devils uh, jersey, which I would really love to have. Unfortunately, they do not have my size in stock, uh, 46. I'm just going to open this up here and show you what's, what sizes they actually do have. Size 44, uh, 2XL, and 3XL, which is 56 and 60. So and just a, it's a great site layout in general. If you look at the top, it's so easy to find like the specific team you're looking for. And um, I think the next jersey that I might buy that's actually in stock is an Anaheim Ducks orange jersey. I believe that last time I checked, it was in stock anyway. But I'm just kind of trying to save my money right now, so I might not be buying any hockey jerseys anytime soon unless I find like a killer deal. And 30% off is still a pretty killer deal, but uh, yeah. So. That's cool hockey. Next up on my list is is straight from right straight from the horse's mouth. We're talking about the Adidas store, official store. Now there's a dot com dot com version. I use the .ca version, obviously, since I'm in Canada. I have it sorted from uh, lowest to highest. So as far as price, so there's PK and Sub or there's it says PK Subban, but if you click on it, you'll notice that it's just blank. But if you're looking for white jerseys, they have more than cool hockey. They have definitely the best selection of white jerseys online which makes sense they're they are the manufacturer of the jerseys they do have a new jersey devils uh, size 46 in white but it's blank so i don't want that blank jersey but you can see you look, look at all the white jerseys that they have <clears throat> um they have some all-star jerseys on here they very rarely if ever have sales on here so i've, I've actually never purchased from straight from adidas Next up is Fanatics, and Fanatics is an okay site. I have no real issues with them. I purchased from them before a couple of times. I got my um, white Vegas jersey there, my alternate Flyers jersey, and there's one other one I got from there. So good experience for the most part. They it's, it's very difficult as Canadian to buy from Fanatics because of the import fees and because of the poor Canadian dollar at the moment. A $200 jersey on this site or just for example this uh, let me choose this taylor hall jersey here that's 107 dollars american if i bought that had it shipped to me paid the import fees converted it to canadian i'd be paying probably almost 250 dollars for this jersey where i could just go to coolhockey.com and get 30 percent off and pay 187 dollars canadian so it, it doesn't make sense for a canadian to buy uh, from fanatics even if something's on sale so but if you're an american pretty good site to check out they've got a, an awesome selection on here i personally don't like the company fanatics especially their jerseys i prefer adidas and uh, i i just i hate i hate the fact that fanatics has monopolized the entire uh jersey not the entire jersey selection online but a lot of companies like they bought out lids and they own fans edge and a bunch of other sites they own the actual nhl shop which we'll see a couple of these things here in a minute so i'm on fanatics right now just keep in mind the stock that you're looking at okay and if i go to let's bring up this one next which is fans edge does it look familiar to you at all different company owned by fanatics exact same stock 
so like a, it's frustrating that they have all these the same stock on multiple different sites and companies, but um, the organization is pretty good. So like I said earlier, looking for St. Louis Blues white jersey, I can go on here, St. Louis, okay, it's not there, move on. I've never bought from Fans Edge before, by the way. Uh, another one I check is the um, site AJ Sports World. So they're a, a company based in Canada, and they do strictly, basically signed jerseys. So if you're looking for a, a signed jersey from a specific player, this is 100% the site to go to if you are Canadian. There are other sites, obviously, you can buy from eBay and whatnot, but I, I really like uh, their site. I've never purchased from them before, but I know people who have and say absolutely wonderful things. I do believe they have a physical location in Ontario as well. But, uh, you know, you can get a Jamie Benn signed jersey for $199 or a Zaitsev jersey for $159. Adidas, like a named jersey with an autograph for $159 Canadian. Like that's pretty stellar. But if you want to get, you know, if you want to get real into it and spend some some serious coin, there's jerseys on here for $2,500 if, if I go down far enough. I mean, there's look at this collection. I'm, I'm going through hundreds and hundreds of jerseys here. Um, there's an Austin Matthews jersey here for... Uh, over a thousand dollars Canadian, so that's about seventy-five dollars American. If you're if you're wondering, uh, next up eBay. So this is this link is specific to Ben H Sports, and Ben H Sports is is low key probably the best place to get a jersey from a non traditional company. Uh, I've never purchased from Ben, but I hear absolutely wonderful things from multiple multiple people. I have friends who purchase from Ben. I think uh, the hockey guy purchases from Ben all the time. And uh, he, I know if you email him, he gives you an extra 10% offer. You save 10% or whatnot. Now, I've, I've personally, like I said, never purchased from Ben. It's something I do plan on doing in the future. I like to support the, the little guys. And uh, so that is 150% something that I do, I do plan on doing. But every time I've come here looking for a specific jersey, I've just kind of found a better price el elsewhere. And then I have this specifically sorted for me, Adidas 46, as you can see up here. And I have it sorted price low to high. So I check this every day and I look and see uh, what adjustments he makes. On, on what specific jerseys. And I've seen him carry jerseys here that no one else has. So it, this is a really good spot to, you know, if you're looking for something specific, you have to check here to see if he has it. Now he does have my jersey that I want, the Carolina Hurricanes jersey in size 46, but there's no player on the back. So um, that's not a purchase that I would personally make. But uh, and this Ovechkin jersey here, this size 46, um, alternate jersey that is a jersey i definitely 100 percent want but i'm not going to pay 249 dollars for it plus 10 dollars shipping even with 10 percent off i can still find a better i'd rather wait and buy it from cool hockey for 187 dollars once it comes in in stock i'm not going to pay an extra 50 dollars that's just me personally and i'm super cheap so i <laughs> uh, don't don't follow my lead if you want a jersey you go do it it doesn't matter how much it is uh the next site is the nhl shop.ca so this is this is still the fanatics site but it's adjusted a little bit because this is the canadian version of the fanatics site so you're going to see a couple of different jerseys in here versus the fanatic store uh some actually some some not bad deals here these military jerseys are pretty cool i have an ottawa one and uh, i would 100 percent buy off this site I, I, i'm not happy about the shipping being you know the same thing as fanatics you spend 900 dollars and you're still spending 20 dollars to, to get it shipped to you which is a little frustrating but i would pay the shipping if i found a really good deal on a jersey so you could find some some awesome deals on here at the right time. Um, I don't believe they have any St. Louis jerseys that I'm looking for. Nope, they don't. So that does share the same, for the most part, as Fanatic's uh, store. Next up is a site called Pure Hockey. I've never purchased from, from Pure Hockey. I don't even know anyone who has, but I'm told it is a legitimate site. And uh, I shouldn't say that none of... I don't, none of my close friends have purchased from here. I have subscribers and viewers who have purchased from here and tell me about the site, but I've never purchased from here and I don't know anyone close to me who has. So I can't really say anything negative or positive about this site, but I, I 99.9% .9 sure that this is a legitimate site. And I'm only showing you legitimate sites here. If you're here because you collect fake jerseys, just stop watching this video because I do not promote uh, fake jersey buying or and I, and I am not an advocate for fake jerseys i understand why people do it it's expensive it's expensive to go out and buy an nhl you know adidas jersey but if you do if you you know if you take the time and do your due diligence and find a deal like the jersey that i'm wearing right now is the perfect example i get the, i got this for 49 dollars. it's a uh eric carlson adidas ottawa jersey 49 dollars. Okay, do you want to spend 49 dollars on a fake jersey that doesn't look the same from china and doesn't support the nhl financially or 
do you want to find the same price jersey just at a deal? Yeah, it might take you a little bit longer to find the deal, but that's kind of what this process is all about, is finding a jersey deal. That's the entire point of this video. And so I hope that you have a little bit more patience and buy an actual legitimate 100% jersey versus buying a fake jersey. But I understand your reasoning if you do collect fake jerseys or if you have the other side of the argument. But anyways, Pure Hockey, never purchased from them, but uh, you can check it out if you want. I, I don't know if they're American or Canadian. Uh, Goalie Monkey is another site that I've never purchased from before. Uh, if I think, if I go into, where is it? Is it Fan Zone? No, apparel, um, accessories, custom equipment. Where the hell is it? Oh, it's in. Yeah, sorry, it's in Gameware. So if I go to Gameware and then NHL jerseys. Go to new items. What? I didn't click on that. All right, well, complaint number one, the site is not great. Authentic NHL jerseys. Let's click that. Slow site, they need to update their server. Uh, and then I sp specify Adidas on the left-hand side. Whew, slow. And buggy as well, because I can't click the sort button. Now I'm clicked on. I would almost not buy from the site just based on usability. But anyways, there are some white jerseys on here, some hidden gems on here. So if I go to, uh, was it? it's been a while since I've actually been on this site and I've never purchased from them, but they do have some, some sneaky white jerseys on here. So if I go to size, 46 style. See, they don't have the white jersey, but for some of the teams, they do. So if you're in need of a... See if they have any Buffalo ones. Oh, this site is painfully slow. Uh, 46 style away. They do have a white 40 size 46 at Buffalo jersey. I have not seen this jersey anywhere else online. I don't even... I don't remember seeing it on the Adidas store or the Cool Hockey store. I'm sure Cool Hockey has it, but... Um, yeah, I mean, if you're looking for specifically a white jersey, I might recommend uh, checking out Goalie Monkey. They are American, and I don't even know if they ship to Canada, so I've, uh, yeah, I've never purchased from them. Next up, and this is, all the rest of the links are sport check, and uh, so let's go through this one at a time. The first link is basically a search result, results link of NHL jersey, and I have it filtered for Adidas, and you can see kind of a, a bunch of different sales going on here. They're not all jerseys. There's some sweaters at the bottom, but you know, there's a Brock Besser Adidas jersey on here from last year for $109. Like that's a pretty good deal. Uh, the white version, $89. That's a good deal. Uh, James Neal, Calgary Flames jersey, 109. That's that. There's a Toronto Maple Leafs Patrick Marlowe jersey on here for $109. They just added that recently. Uh, so that's you know, if you're looking for a good deal in Canada, I don't I don't know if they ship to the United States or internationally. This is a Canadian company. So if you're Canadian and you're watching this and you know you want a, a Patrick Marlowe shirt or a, or a jersey rather, you know check it out. So I always check that one first, and then I go uh, team specific, and I have this sort of, uh, every team sorted by low to high price wise. So sometimes there's some hidden ones down here, and I just right now they have 25% off, so you can get a name jersey for 194. But uh, 25% off is is pretty good. But I mean you can get the same jerseys at Cool Hockey for 30% off, so. I always end up back at Cool Hockey, honestly, unless I find a specific jersey like this, like I want, like a, want, you know, $109 one or whatever. Ottawa Senators, nothing here. Uh, yeah, Toronto Maple Leafs, just that Marlow jersey and the All-Star jersey. Nothing there for Winnipeg. And I do this because you notice on the first page that it had all these same deals, but for whatever reason, sometimes the hidden ones or, or specific jerseys don't show up on that initial broad page that you have to really go into an individual team like I am now, and then the, the sale pops up. So there's something funky going on at the site, but uh, anyways. Vancouver. Mm, yeah. That one's new. They just added that, the Montreal Canadiens 9988 one. That was not on sale. I don't think yes yesterday or this week so that was that's new 
New York Rangers, no jerseys. Uh, Buffalo Sabres, no jerseys. They used to have jerseys on the site for the, for these teams, but they don't anymore. They all sold out. Boston, Tampa, Pittsburgh, no jerseys on sale for an extreme sailor, I should put. Ooh, that's a nice, I like that hat. That's a nice king's hat. Not my size, though. And then I have an, an other, other NHL section. There was a Carolina Hurricanes or Hartford Whalers uh, jersey here that I thought about buying a couple times, but I didn't. But anyways, that's kind of my process of, of how I go about buying um, a jersey. But like I said, at the end of the day, this really isn't a promotion. I would have said this even before I partnered with Cool Hockey. I always end up back there because 30% off. A couple weeks ago, they had 40% off. I mean... You're really not going to find a better deal out there broadly unless it's a, you just find a random deal like that James Neal jersey or something from Calgary from Sports, or it's not Sports, Net, Sports Check. So uh, what jersey am I looking for other than the St. Louis one? Let's just, let's just go through it and see if they added anything new. Um, I wouldn't mind having, where is it? Dun, dun, dun. The Vancouver Canucks black jersey i'm i'm 99 sure that it's not in stock it's here there's a price there maybe they just don't have my size oh, yes yeah, they don't have my size unfortunately 3xl i ain't fitting in that well, i'm fitting in it but there's about three others uh the same size as me fitting that in that as well so uh this is my process i check every single day I put those in, in their own folder here and I right click, open all 31 and it's boom, it just populates my entire browser in, in different individual tabs. And I just go through it one at a time. I'm, I'm quick at it now. It takes me about five to seven minutes to go through the entire 31 tabs and I just go, go super quick. I'm used to doing it so I know what's there. I know what was there yesterday. I know what's new. I can spot it right away. So if you're looking for a jersey deal, I highly recommend you setting up your own system like this and checking it every day. It doesn't have to be uh, you know, these, the sites that I showed you, it could be different sites. It could be uh, American specific sites. If you're an American and you don't want any Canadian sites in there, if you're a Canadian and you only want to deal with Canadian sites, obviously your, your list is going to be a little bit different from mine. It's only going to have Canadian sites. So this is the process I use. I hope it was helpful. If you have any questions, please feel free to, uh, you know, comment down below and, and I'll do my best to answer any of your comments. And, um, yeah. So if, you know, if you guys are thinking about buying a Jersey and you want to save some money, I, Go to coolhockey.com slash post to post and uh, enter the, the code there. I think it's right now it's, it's a dad. Father's Day sale as I'm making this 30% uh, off. Use the code dad. So coolhockey.com slash post to post. Use code dad. Use code dad and save yourself 30% 30, 30, um, off. That's, I think it ends up being 187 or no, it's $212 after tax as a Canadian. As an American, it's probably like $70 or something. But anyways. Thanks, guys, for watching. I really appreciate it. Uh, the other way you can help support the channel is by subscribing. If you're not subscribed already, please go down, hit the subscribe button, uh, hit this like button, and uh, feel free to share this to a, a Jersey Collector friend. Hope you're having an awesome day, and I'll see you in the next video. Adios.